Okay, so now you told me about being an instructor, and now tell me what you were saying about Korea and Japan? Well, I was an instructor, and then I was called. I, I got orders that I was going to go to Korea. But uh, in order for me to do that, uh, I had to go by ship from the west coast of the United States to Japan, where they where I was going to go from Japan by airplane to Korea in Seoul. And then from Seoul, I went to the 9th Infantry Regiment as oh, wow. a forward controller. Okay. And what was the ship you went on? The USS Randall. You took that one from America? Yeah, and I went to another, had another one, but I don't remember the other name. That's okay. Back. Oh, oh, great. Okay. And um, so what do you remember about Japan? Japan was. I was stationed in a in a in a transport where where I was put there because I was going to be put there and go, then go into go into an area where they had a, where we were going to fly from there in a flying fortress like <laughs> that's what we called it, the death plane, and we were going to go over the over into Korea and land in Seoul. And from there, the orders I had was to go and and go to the 9th Infantry Regiment up in up up at the 38th or 9th parallel. I don't even remember. And uh, and so I drove, and I met a lot of soldiers and stuff like that. And they told me which way to you know go and direct oh, nice. me. And I found my way up to there, and I had the lieutenant, wonderful lieutenants up there, and every forward control outfit was only three men and what we did was we maintained the control uh, and right at the parallel and so the guys were the greatest in the army mm -hmm. and they were my friends and right because you were air force but you were the ground yes. right right okay so they were up there and uh, it was a wonderful experience for me How'd you like the Japanese people? Were they uh, pleasant to oh, you? I'm not in Japan, no. I'm in Korea. Oh, <laughs> when you were... Okay, I lost you there. So when you were in... Okay, continue. I'll go back to the other Well, later. in Japan, I, 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 I was in a staging area. Oh. So everybody went to different parts of Korea. And so I went... I, I was going to be sent to Seoul, but I don't remember how it went. I went across by... I think I flew. I flew from that point all the way over to Korea, and then from Korea, in Korea, I went and by jeep up to the front oh. on the 38th Ninth Parallel, and I was attached to the Ninth Infantry Regiment. Okay. Because I was now with with a lieutenant and a private, and I was a sergeant. Okay. And we were we were doing we. And I was I could have gone to officers training school, but I had enough. I wanted to get out. Right, I understand. You had done your time there. You were you spent yeah, four so, years in the military. You want to go to college? You told me. Yeah, I went to college. I went to I took the GI Bill. Went to Brooklyn College. Went mm -hmm. through that stuff, and mm -hmm. and I was just so fortunate, you know, that that mm -hmm. God took care of me. He always took care of me. He always took care of me. Right. He always guided me, even with, you know, we would go somewhere and they were telling us it's a minefield, look out for the mines. And uh, and so they hadn't, they hadn't cleared, cleared, I don't think they didn't clear the mines out. And so we had to follow somebody to make sure we, mm -hmm. we get through and stuff well, like God that. Well, God protected you through that. And there are... Oh, he was, he was good to us all the time. Right. And... Uh, and I had the opportunity mm -hmm. to be attached to the 9th Infantry, and they were the greatest guys. Oh, they, good. And we fooled around together. We would, every time I'd see them, they'd go, rawr, rawr, you know. But then I saw them often because they were, I was attached to them. So you mean they would joke around? They could joke around. And uh -huh. I had a great time with the guys. They were all great. Uh -huh. And... Uh, and I, I said, make sure you don't aim those guns at us, you know. Did you have a particular friend uh, that you had made over there, or I someone? I made you... a couple. Okay. Uh, one of them was, well, they were lieutenants, and uh -huh. uh, okay. they flew airplanes, and that's where mine was. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, if I'm trying to remember, that's... the one that was 
with us, the three of us, uh, I think it was name was Lieutenant Walsh or something. Mm -hmm. I think his plane crashed and he I'm was killed. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, but that's well. That's, that's part of war is the is the yeah, loss, and yeah, that's but, a hard thing. I, I didn't go. We didn't really start. You know, the the the, the armistice is going to be signed and everything like that. Right. And so they had where they stopped so-called stop shooting. You know, they stopped on both sides with an agreement. Oh, you know, so that was also, but I. Where were you at that time? I I was up. I think, I was up at, I I think in Chuchon. Okay. I I don't remember. Tell us where you went in Korea. I went to. Uh, what areas? I know you said you went different direction. I went yeah, but but where after the after I landed what, in what Seoul, parallel? I, went, I went out of Seoul when mm -hmm. I. Landed in Seoul with the uh, flying foot with the box car, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we had jeep jeeps. We had a jeep in the thing and everything to get. Right. It was really amazing. We flew over the Korean Strait. Oh and my! We landed in Seoul, and uh, <clears throat> we had a lot of infantry there. Mm -hmm. And then what happened was I went. Uh, I, I I found out my orders when I got there that I was going to go to the Ninth Infantry. On, okay. And I was probably on the north west side of the whole. You know. Mm -hmm. I want to say. No, but you said you you told me you were on a certain parallel. Yeah, the thirty eighth or thirty ninth. I don't remember. I think, I think it was the thirty ninth ninth parallel. Which is the parallel around the earth. Okay. So that's how you had it. So, and then when you came back, and so then from the war, so, you, and you met some of the Korean people and you met some of the Japanese people well, or not I really? Went, when I went, when I, when I went to, uh, we had what, yeah, I don't remember all the details. Right. Yet, but I went back because I, I had to go back, like we had a change of, uh, okay. of, of the loot. We had to have a different man because... Well, because whatever, and and we had an mm -hmm. exchange, and we had a new officer that came because I was a staff sergeant, right? And I was recommended to go and you know, and all that kind of stuff. You mean for more training to more positions? No, they wanted me to go to officers candidate school. Mm -hmm. But here's, but I what see. happened was, uh, so. Everybody that we met, everybody that we got together with, who we was assigned to, right. it was the most wonderful experience I could okay. have. They were all like brothers. Very good. You guys in the military know what I mean when they were like your brothers. And so it was an experience you'll never forget. Mm -hmm. It's something you always be grateful for, the United States of America where this republic for which it stands, it's under One God. Nation. And so it was just a wonderful, I'm glad I served. Mm -hmm. I was four, oh, not quite four years in the Air Force. I think I got out about four months early or something. I oh, don't somebody remember. was generous. And so the, because they, you know. The war had ended. The war had ended and mm -hmm. they sent, so I got to go home and I went home on another ship. It wasn't the Randall. I think it was another ship, and I can't remember. That's okay. You didn't fly. That's the main thing no, to remember. we went across, and it was such a thing. Did you have when to we, share a room? Wait, when we got home, when okay. the ship landed back in San Francisco, I think it was, and when we got off the ship, we were all ushered to the place because they knew that we were of, 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 of we could very easily be discharged. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took for the discharge, and they sent sent us to an area, and we took the we swore and all of that, you know, that thanking, and, and so you mean we thanking. got our discharge right there. And I have somewhere I don't even know where it is my discharge mm -hmm. from from Korea and from <laughs> the place Japan, and so coming back home was a wonderful experience on Pleasure. the ship, and. Going in, back into the, back into Frisco. I think it was Frisco. We came back to, and then we went from there to, you probably to took an a Air Force base. You probably took a plane from there, right? I don't remember doing That's right. okay. But so I know then you that, went. I know that it was a great experience. You went back to Brooklyn, correct? Went back to Brooklyn, and it was very, you know, it was wonderful and everything like that.
but but inwardly, you know, you you you, you can understand mm -hmm. the the how poor some people are, and how misfortunate it is, and you do, really don't want any wars anywhere, you know, because you've been, lived through war. Yeah, because you know, uh, it, it it's not it's. It's really, it's only because it's nation right against nation and stuff like that. But, right, it's not something you really want. They all want to have a family. They all want to have be get married and everything. So I had right. to go. You to, I had to peace. pick up. Now what I had to do was go get my education. Mm -hmm. You know, because I never finished it. They took. I went overseas. Right. You 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 were to, drafted. I, yeah. Yeah. So I was. Uh, I went to Brooklyn College. And I you got went my along, degree. I think, 10 years at night while you yeah, worked. Yeah, I went at night. And this was the price that I had to pay for, you know, because I could have had my right. degree by just going to college. and Right. And so you that. had to do it at nights while you work because now you are yeah, older. I was working and I worked in an engineering department and mm -hmm. I worked in all kinds of things and in sales. Mm -hmm. And I was, I did a lot of nice things. I became an associate to my to the vice president of the company right and, and it was wonderful because mm -hmm. we just we just knew that we were supposed to be be together and is there so, something is there something you'd like to tell younger americans since you are a veteran um about uh our country or what you believe um well i do i do want to tell you this that if if I had died for my country, that would have been okay because I loved my country. Amen. And my friends were all that way too because I had a lot of friends that were in the infantry because I was assigned to the infantry. Right. And then, and they, they, one time somebody, well, what? That's okay. But, you don't have but, to say. Uh, but it was a wonderful experience. Right. I will never forget. And, and I would fight for my country again so you, because they were so... Again, you would. Okay. Uh, they, they, it's all worth it. To defend your country. You to feel defend it's important. your country and to be put into, into situations that may not be pleasant. But the thing is, when you come out, you know that you did something to protect our nation. Right. And you love America, it sounds like. Oh, I love America. And I, I there is no other place like the United States of America. One nation under God, you said. That's so it. you want one nation under God. And so you just have to you just have to be so thankful that God has you in this country because it as much as we have a lot of small stuff that right. we talk about and everything that's on the negative line. The, when you take everything out that's negative, and it's there's no comparison. We are so rich, and we have such wonderful freedom, right? And we are protected by the best military that you could possibly have. And mm -hmm. I thank you for the United States Army, Aww. the United States Navy. United States Marines, United States Air Force, and nice. all of the others that are attached mm -hmm. together in the networking of making an army and making the country safe. Uh, I know uh, a lot of times I've heard you say, God bless America. Do you like God bless America on our coins? And do you feel that's an important phrase in, for I the think military? A lot of people, yeah, quite frankly, uh, I. I my parents came from Norway, and when they came from Norway, and they they were coming from Norway to the United States, and mm -hmm. they took citizenship, and and uh, they, my my parents loved America after all, you know, just loved America because what happened was it, the United States of America is a is a living unit, and and it was in their hearts, mm -hmm. and they just grew in the mercy and everything, and they would have all defended this nation. Truly. Yes, mm -hmm. truly, truly. And my father did well. He came from a, a, mm -hmm. a family that was really poor. Mm -hmm. It was a farming type, kind of, you, you know, in Norway. Right. And my father at eight, nine. From Lista, was, right? He had, to, he had to do so much work on the farm. In Lista, and, and correct. And things like that. So my father 
was strong and he yes. was powerful. And my father was a tremendous boxer, but he never got into the, right. you know, but he never went for, he didn't want to go into boxing or anything after, all, you know, right. but he was good. He, uh -huh. he was a, so my okay. parent, my mother was great raising us kids. She just so. gave us compassion and love. Aww. And so we grew up, uh, you know, my brother Eddie and uh, my brother Albert who died. Right. Uh, we just we just loved our moms and dad. Well, did how did your parents feel when you went to Korea? My mother sent me a letter. I think every day, and it Aww. came. It would go to the letter would go to Japan, and from Japan to Seoul. Wow. Seoul, the mail would come up to us. I I don't know if how. How oh, nice. And so I would get the mail. They would just hand it to me. They say, "Al, here." And Aww. I would get my mail that way, and it okay. was it was a such a blessing to me that my mother and father, right, they were very proud that I was serving our country. Oh, that's wonderful. And I, I and and I, I was just so blessed. And the Lord, when I came out, my married the most wonderful woman was Aww. Oslo Christensen, and when I married her, she and she had the and nicest. She was family. Wilhelmson, right? And, she yeah, would... her name was Oslo Wilhelmson, and I married her. She was the nicest person you'd ever want to meet. You met her in and Brooklyn. after how many years? I don't even remember how many years I'm married I to her. I think 62. 62 years. She's the nicest person and the sweetest person that anyone ever could have gotten, and I thank the Lord Might for be my longer. wife. And so Might we be. have three beautiful children. We have grandchildren today. Right. And you're going and, to be a great grandfather. And I'm going to be a great, great, Nova what am I, great? In November, you're going to have a baby girl, Derek yeah, and Ellie. Right. I'm, going to, I'm going to be a great grandpa. Right. There uh, you so, go. So it's ongoing to, to, be, <laughs> yes. to be, a, be a Christian. Well, thank you. I'm glad you. I served my country. Okay. I'm glad I did all of those things. Mm -hmm. I, and I, a lot of people... Uh, gave their lives for this country. Would you like to say a prayer for people who may be serving in the military before I uh, end this clip and, and uh, we yeah, take so a little to break? To all of you who are in the military, I say to you that the Lord loves you and he has his compassion for you in the circumstances where you are. Mm. Just know this, that you can cry out to the Lord, the Mashiach, oh Mashiach, the, the, the Savior, Jesus Christ and call upon him and you will find the peace of God in that passes all understanding and the Lord will bless you in abundance always. So keep going. Know this, it's all worth it. The United States of America is a wonderful country that protects us. Mm. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. It was such a pleasure to hear about your uh, your uh, family and coming from another country, citizenship, and your history with serving in the military, and going on to have a family and get an education mm. uh, in New York. Uh, we love you, Dad. You're the best dad, grandpa, and future to be pretty soon great grandpa she that anyone that could I ever went to have. Brooklyn College. I got a degree out of Brooklyn College. Right? Where'd you get it in? Why don't you end it with that? I don't remember. Okay. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I know he used it in his life to do work in many factories as plant managers and um, in construction and. Uh, Global Steel, Fiat, Knickerbocker, all kinds of security. He well, used it I for his whole Fiat life. Too. We'll do that on another clip. But, um, you know, when you retire, you're allowed to uh, enjoy life. And it's okay if you don't remember every detail anymore. That's why we do videos. I love you, Dad. I love you too. Okay.